Alright, this is going to be part two of Lagaya 2 Dual Saga. Get a move on, you ugly witch, says a voice outside the prison door. Now, now, Marianne, she's a mystic too, after all. <laughs> My dog. Grr, you're too soft-hearted, Elliot. Ugly little bitch. What's going on? What the? It's you. What a shabby little prison. I got permission, you know, to get revenge. Revenge on you for killing poor Elfin. You'll taste my wrath. Oh my. What a mess. Well, looks like we won't be able to use this prison cell anymore. Take that, and that, damn you. <laughs> That's just about enough, Bubba. He's unconscious already. We're gonna make him our slave. I mean, um, servant, so we don't want you to kill him. Is that all she knows how to say? Are you really so upset over losing a pet? If you want, I'll buy you a new one. Elfin wasn't just a pet. We were tied by the bonds of true love. Oh, Elfin, my poor Elfin. You could never understand how we felt about each other. But even so, Bubba, killing him won't bring back what you lost. Bishop Doblin? I understand how you feel, but that man is a mystic, and you know I've told you time, time again. That mystics are the messengers of the gods, being sent to bring eternal paradise to this world. A mystic's life is far more important than yours, let alone an animal's life. Learn your place. Garg, says Bubba. Oh my, what a sorry shape you're in. You poor thing, what have they done to you? Well, are you awake now? Here, I'll have your chains undone. Where am I? You're in the town that I rule, Derekin. This is my castle, Doplin Castle. I'm gonna have to keep you prisoner for a while. Why? You're not too swift, are ya? I'll explain it real nice so even a monkey could understand. You lost and were brought here. We're now gonna train you to be our faithful slave. I mean, servant. I'm just gonna say no thanks. That's what they always say. Do you know what happens to people who resist? They all end up saying, forgive me, I'll do anything. Well, there are a few who resist to the end and wind up dead. It certainly is a fine mark he's got there. I bet he holds quite an amazing origin. That's the thing, Bishop Doplin. He won't show us his origin. Maybe we should have gone a little easier on him. Elliot, you're too soft-hearted for your own good. He's just gonna try to make fools of us. 
If I really got serious, I could make him do anything I wanted. You, take that. Now, now, I get it. I can see both of you are serious. Leave him be for a bit. If he gets damaged before, we can show him to Avalon. He'll be mad at me. Can't have that. Bunny says, Avalon? Yeah, the greatest mystic of all, chosen by the Supreme Origin. He's our leader. He'll turn this chaotic, impure world into a true utopia. You'll understand when you meet him. You'll see his absolute power for yourself. Undo his chains and let him rest in the prison. He'll be one of us in the future. Treat him well, do you hear? I heard you found a new mystic, Bishop. <laughs> oh, Velna. Yes, I imagine Avalon will be quite pleased. I'm sure. I've made preparations for a celebration in the central building. A celebration? How delightful. Come along, you lot. That's quite a wonderful feat, finding a mystic like that. Great job, Mr. Bubba, and to think you were once a prisoner under a life sentence. I'm sorry, that was rude of me. Please forgive me. How exciting! This land will soon see the arrival of a new era. A new era? Mystics? To hell with all that. Damn him. He killed my elfin. I can't imagine a future without elfin. Damn you. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch. Guard says, Please stop, Mr. Bubba. If you kill him, we'll all be blamed. Damn, I can't stand this. I can't take it anymore. You guys will have to take him. Garg. Wow, Mr. Bubba is in a bad mood today. Yeah, and what's wrong with the bishop? What possible use could we have for a brat like this? Are mystics really worth all this fuss? Yeah, I wonder. Mr. Bubba broke the door to this room, so we can't use it. Well, what are you gonna do? Let's put him in the room over there. Bunny gasps. Who are you? <laughs> Her name is... We're gonna call her Mayo. She just healed me, so she's basically like a human Mayo Clinic, so that's what we're gonna go with. Bunny says, Mayo. My name is Bunny. Who are you? Oh, you can't talk? Hey, that power. What exactly was that? I just keep showing up back there. What the heck is that thing? Do not be frightened. I am Riva, the life origin that lives inside Mayo. You too are a mystic, are you not? Uh, yeah, maybe. You are not aware of it yet, but that mark on your chest is my jizz. Bunny says, yeah? <laughs> That's the sign of another you that lives inside. It stands for your origin. My origin? Are you telling me there's a monster like you living inside me? I don't believe you. There's no way there's any monster inside me. This mark is just a plain old birthmark. It's not what you say it is. There's no way I'm a mystic. 
People need to stop blaming me for that, I tell ya. I do understand what you are feeling now, but at the same, you are a mystic. Nobody can change that simple truth. Shut up, go away, disappear, why don't ya? Could I really be like them? Just because I have some birthmark on my chest? Does that really make me like them? No way! I couldn't get the thing to leave my bunny ears in, so I put a translucent picture as the background. Bunny says, I can't just hang around here forever. I gotta find some way to get out of here. But, looks like they took away all my weapons and items. What am I gonna do? The door seems pretty wobbly. Maybe I can break it. Let's give it another try. Maybe a little more. Knock knock, hide your cock. Looks like I made a lot of noise, but it doesn't seem like anybody noticed. Now, what should I do about her? I guess it's not really my problem. She's a mystic. I gotta get out of here fast. But still... I bet they treat her pretty badly, just like they treated me. I can't just leave her here. Uh, why don't you come with me? We'll get out of here together. Come on, I'm not gonna leave you here. Mayo has joined the party. There is a lever here. It is done in extremely poor taste, and we pull the lever. Cleverly veiled loading screens. Stop right there, says this chonky monkey. Grarg. Ha. You heathen. I knew I would find you here. Thought you could get away, huh? Oh my. Oh. Looks like they're closing the drawbridge. Run, bitches, run! Men, leave this to me. I swear by Saint Jorian, Jabrian, or something. I am Balkan, third son of the Maasai clan and the leader of the Blue Knights. They call me the Mighty Balkan, strongest knight in all the kingdom. If you consider yourself a true man, you'll take me on one on one. I'm just gonna ignore him and we're gonna do whatever we do. What's this? You'll let a girl into a man's battle? I got it. When you die, you wanna die together. How admirable. You're a gentleman after all. Now I have the pleasure of beating a noble such as yourself with my trusted mace. What a joy it will be. Oh my. He wants to beat me. Beat me off. Wow, 
why would this matter? It's not like I can't reopen it. <laughs> not bad. However, I keep slumming away. Uh, hurry, hurry, I said. that spring, 16 years ago, when I joined the Knights. Ever since I was born to the Messi clan as one of three boys. An aristocrat by birth. Are you listening to me? Huh? says, Balkan, don't let them get away. Raise the drawbridge. We've been ordered to seize them. I can't believe it. Balkan was defeated. Let's go, says Bunny. They escaped. Bishop, your majesty, terrible news. What is it? What an awful lot of noise. Do you have any idea what time it is? Yes, Highness, apologies, Your Majesty. But the mystics locked up in the Annex escaped. I thought you'd want to know. What did you say? You fools. What happened to the mighty Balkan? I guess it won't work if I have a translucent image as the background for the overlay, but that's okay. I just wanted to test it. Marianne says, what is it, Elliot? Why are you staring outside like that? Looks like somebody escaped, Marianne. Maybe it's that young man we captured earlier today. A feeble boy like that? Escape? The guards or the knights would just put him right back in prison. Ha, yes, I'm sure you're right, Marianne. down the 
this thing. Can't let them get away. Why not? Oh, okay, there's an open second story window to infiltrate. Oh, I was supposed to know that my big tall ass could fit in there. Okay. Whatever. Hey, you two. What are you up to? says Sabrina. They should be around here somewhere. Search all the houses. A young man and woman as well. Uh oh. We're the castle police. Open up immediately. Hey, you two. Stay right here. These cutscenes are so slow moving. The door is broken. Aren't you listening to me? I told you there's nobody here. And I say they are here. We have to search the place. Hey, stop. You're gonna scare off my customers. You're interfering with my business. Now get out of here. Damn it. All right, but you haven't heard the end of this. Nothing but a bunch of cowards, and they think they can lord it over people, huh? You don't seem to be from around here. Okay, those stupid men are gone. Are you hungry? Sure, I love free food. Honey, make us your specialty, would ya? Here it is, our special stew. Eat it while it's hot. Come on now, there's no poison in it. Alright, I'll try it too. Wow, this is yummy. No need to wolf it down, there's plenty more where that came from. Gee, you were nice enough to hide us, and now you're even feeding us. My name is Bunny. She's Mayo. Uh, well, you see... That's okay, I know you escaped from the castle. The only time when those men come around is when that Doplin has given some stupid order or another. What in the world are they doing up in there? I wonder. Those idiots. Not too long ago, a whole bunch of young people were conscripted up to the castle. It makes us so mad. Can't anybody do anything about him, that idiot Doplin guy? Yeah, you said it. That's right, ever since Doplin came to be a bishop, the whole town has fallen to pieces. That guy took my job in my house, he even took my Sandy away from me. My sweet Sandy! Everybody here hates the jerks at the castle. I don't know if they're royalty or nobles or what, but they think they can do whatever they want, and there's no excuse for it. Wow, if only people acted like that today, despots, tyrants, and cunts like Elon Musk would all be burning in a bonfire somewhere. Anyways, Sabrina says, uh, I knew as soon as I saw you two that you weren't like those people up at the castle. Now then, I'm sure they were rough on you up there. Why don't we let you stay here tonight? It's not much, but you can use the room in the back. The door is broken, and you'll have to share a room, but you look like you'll get along okay. Uh, I just say, thanks. That's the spirit. You're young. Why hesitate? Seize the opportunity and have a good rest. It's the first one up the stairs. Make yourself at home. Alright. Wait. That mark on your chest. Don't tell me you're a mystic. Now, now, don't look so scared. I'm not going to give you away to the men outside. My name is Joe. I'm a kind of information source in this town. If you ever need to know anything, just ask me. Bunny says, what is a mystic? 
Well, I usually get paid for that kind of service, but I'll let you know for free just this once. A mystic is a person that can use the power of an origin. An origin? I'm not really sure what that is, but I've heard it's kind of like a ghost or a spirit. And they say that mystics are born with a special mark. When I saw the mark, I figured that you might be a mystic. Aren't you? I don't think there's any need to hide it. About the only ones that know mystics have marks on them are the big shots up at the castle. I doubt anyone else knows. And that's all I know about the matter. Yoink. 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 There's a bed here. Let's sleep in it. You weren't even gonna say goodbye. Goodness. Finally awake, Arya. Thought you'd never get up. Things have finally calmed down outside. What do you plan on doing now? I don't really know. I have to find that guy that stole the Aqualith from my town, but I don't have any leads. What kind of man was he? He's no human man, that's for sure. He has gold eyes. Oh my. What's the matter? Your face looks like ash. What is it? Looks like she's trying to point to Mount Gable. It used to be famous for the scenery, but monsters run rampant there now. It's no place for people to go anywhere near. So maybe... May was trying to tell us that a mountain has something to do with the fellow that you're looking for. Wait just a darn minute. Don't tell me you're planning on going there. I have to. I don't have any other leads. Sabrina says, Bunny, it looks like Mayo wants to go with you. You're not just going to leave her here, are you? Joe says, It's not like going on a picnic. It's dangerous. Shut your pie hole, Joe. Mind your business. Guess we're just going to leave... We can go to Mount Gable, the Gale Canyon, or back to the town that we're from. I think we'll just go to the mountain. Cat Mountain. Let's see what we got in here. Got a free leaf. <laughs> Does that enemy need to be that strong? That seems a little ridiculous. Probably need to level up. Rocking my world. Somebody here wonders bunny. She likes to bang. Whew. 
Who are you? says the middle-aged man. Oh, Mayo, it's you. What are you doing here? Who's this kid? I'm Bunny. Who are you? Me? My name is... Kazan. Maybe? Let's just call him... His normal name. I didn't mean to accidentally delete it. I'm just an old man living alone in the mountains. Look at those mountains. Something is poisoning them. They didn't used to look like this. It's only a matter of time before this place starts dying, too. Legal planting. I've been trying to use my origin to breathe some life into the earth, but... Kazan, do you sense it too? Something horrible is forcing this change. Riva, it's good to see you again. Anyone can see that something's wrong. All it takes is one look at those mountains. Well then, are you also aware that this change is the work of just one mystic? What? That's impossible. Nobody has an origin that strong. This mystic does. He holds the supreme origin. As the name implies, he has unlimited power. Bunny, listen to me. The supreme origin belongs to the man that you're after, the one with the golden eyes. What? You know about him? Where is he? What's your connection to this man, kid? He stole the Aqualith from my village in order to get it back. You've got to find him. Ah, I see. That mark on your chest. Are you a mystic too? What's the connection? I guess it's safe to say that your origin hasn't awakened yet. Okay, listen up, kid. I'll explain it to you. Diva, that's my origin. He can control forces of the Earth. And Riva can control the force of life. Origins are sentient manifestations of the forces of nature. They have a soul that lives inside of a human host. Those of us with two souls are called mystics. The man you're chasing, Goldeyes, is a mystic for sure, and one that appears to have infinite power, or he's at least strong enough to affect the entire world. He's not just another human, he's something else entirely. Do you understand? I knew that. That may be true, but I still need to get the Aqualith back from him. Where is he? Bunny. Jeez, you don't get it yet, do ya? Don't go charging off, you'll get killed for sure. You're gonna stay the night, right, Mayo? It's okay, I just washed the sheets and my cooking has really improved. Bunny says, wait, I still need that info. Slow down, kid, you're staying here tonight. There's still a lot that you don't understand. like an expensive pot. I want to do some expensive pot. So you're up. Good morning. You know, there's a reason I train like this. 
I have to be ready to fulfill my mission when the time comes. Your mission in life? Perhaps destiny would be a better word. Ever since I learned that D.Va was inside me, I've done a lot of thinking about what it means to be entrusted with this power. I finally decided that Origins and Mystics were put here to help the world. At least, that's what I believe. Maybe that's hard for you to understand, since your Origin hasn't woken up yet. That mark on your chest means that there's an origin inside you and a destiny for you to fulfill. So much repeating of dialogue. Oh my. It's some hungry, hungry hippos. Kazan says, quickly, protect Mayo. Gal Duke. At least you know how to handle a sword. What were they doing here? Oh, they smushed all the flowers. How rude. They smashed everything. There's nothing left. I may be able to rip open the earth, but I can't make a single flower bloom. I can only help the healing process. This power we share with the Origins, it's tied to the will of the host. It can be used to destroy or, to or be used to help the wounded and those in pain. It all depends. Well, kid, as far as I can tell, you've got a good heart, and you're also a mystic. If you're planning to go up against Goldeyes and his supreme origin to get the Aqualith back, your only chance is that other spirit inside of you. You have to wake it up. The other spirit? Yeah, deep within you is a soul of another spirit. You must conjure it. That power is lying dormant. Free your mind and call out to it. It will awaken. I'm sure of it. Power inside of me? In your present condition, you won't get that rock back and you'll end up dead. Then what should I do? How can I tap into the power? There's only one way. You must stare into the very face of death and push yourself to the brink. The face of death? Put your life on the line. Are you ready? Ready to face down death? I need the power no matter what. I'm ready to try. Okay, follow me. The road leads to the summit of the mountain. At the cave at the summit, there's a spirit called the Mountain Morgue. He's usually gentle, but he'll try to kill anything that attacks him. I know it sounds barbaric, but you're gonna attack him. You'll find yourself fighting for your life, I'm sure of it. I'll wait here with Mayo. This will either awaken the power inside me, or I'll die. Let's find out. It's so cute. Why would you want to attack that thing? The Mountain Morgue. I can't harm it. It's not working. What should I do? 
Well, I guess we died. Like those two. It's the same thing. Am I the same as them? Deep within your soul is another spirit. You must conjure it now. It will give you strength. Another power lies within me. Wakey. Flaming fist. That seems appropriate. Finally, says the guy that lives inside my body. Are you the origin inside? Yes, Galea's the name. I'm the origin of fire. If you waited any longer, you'd be dead for sure. Mayo was worried about you. Is that your origin? Such power. Who would have thought the kid had this inside of him? You finally awoken, bunny. Is that why you brought me here, Mayo? She nods her head in agreement. Riva says, yes, I hoped that you would realize your potential as a mystic. Your origin may be awake, but you're still a novice. You've got a lot to learn about fighting and origins. Come with me. I still can't believe this was in me all along. Get a move on, will ya? The master's already leaving. Master? Well, it sounds better than calling him Pops, don't you think? If it weren't for him, I probably never would have woken up and you'd be dead. Master, huh? The moss is glowing. You're late, says Kazan. Kazan, I don't know. Smash the enemy into the ground. That seems fun. He only knows one move? How cruel. What are we gonna teach him? How many 
he gets six attacks right off the bat. Seems like a lot. He has five skills now. Intriguing. My controller was acting wonky for a sec there. Okay, those are super hard, so we don't want to use that. It won't work. Down, left, left, down, right. Finish so soon? How snooty of him. student of mine. A student? Yes. And in it thrived the spirit of my former student, Rouse. Which is why I must never ever lose it, for to lose it is to forget him. Take a look, bunny. This is the Cave of Trials. I trained here in my younger days. At the very back, there's a secret scroll, and I want you to go get it. It may sound easy, but trust me, it's filled with monsters. You won't be able to get the scroll by yourself. You're gonna need the cooperation of your origin. Stand over there. Hi, little Kumo. There's just baby boys. Are we a hyper baby boy? A puppy child? A hyper little baby boy puppy child? You get what you are? We is, we is. Origins can do things like this. I'm certain that your origin has the power you'll need to accomplish the task. Whether you make it through the caves alive or not depends on how you use your origin. I'll wait here with Mayo. Good luck. Mayo and Kazan have left the party. I can't go any further. This rock is in the way. I wonder if Galea can do something about it. Press the square button to decimate the boulder. Ooh. 
so this is Galea's power. What's the matter, Mayo? Hey, Bunny! I don't think you're strong enough to make it through the cave by yourself yet, so take Mayo with you. Riva can heal your injuries, and I'm sure that will be of great assistance to you. Mayo, join the party. You can change characters in the dungeon with L2 and R2. Okay. of a hooker. Heaven's Gate, huh? Temporarily prevents encounters. skill that's waiting outside. Yeah, I'm playing a game, sweetie. Here I go. You're in whose Discord? I'm sorry. Oh, okay.
haven't noticed us yet. Secrets of the Fang of Required. We learn Raging Fang. Fancy. You can tell Beth that we miss her too. That was just the way back in. It's like a big soigle. I see how it goes. Master, what's the Sky Fang School? I told you to get the scroll. I didn't say anything about reading it. Someone needs to learn patience. It's a style of sword fighting that I mastered. It allows you to infuse your sword with your inner fighting force. Since you already looked at the scroll, you know it contained the secrets to a technique called Raging Fang. Like the smithy tempers steel, so too must you temper your mind. Devote yourself to mastering this technique. It looks like you've learned Raging Fang quite well. You shouldn't have any trouble learning more advanced techniques in the future. Let's head back to the house. Doggies are fighting. <laughs> Say, Bunny, this aqualith you're looking for, what is it? It's a floating stone, and water comes out of it. You wouldn't be trying to fool me now, would you? A rock that makes water, it must be the sacred azure stone, says Riva. You know of it? Yeah, when I was held captive in Doplin Castle, I remember the bishop bragging about it. Doplin Castle. That's where they locked me up. Are you sure that's where it is? But why did Goldeyes steal it from your village? What does he plan to do with it? If we find the stone, we might find Goldeyes, too. Master? Let me tell you something, Bunny. I like the scenery here. The sunsets here were especially breathtaking. But I can't enjoy the sunset anymore. The eerie mist covering the mountain has made it impossible. In order to get the mountain back that I love, I plan to fight this gold-eyed devil that's disrupting the balance of things. You fight to protect your village, but we fight to protect nature. We have different reasons, but our target's the same. How about it? Wanna join forces? 
Sure, let's go to the castle. We'll leave right away. Someone named Kenjiro says Kazan. You again. I don't know why you keep coming back. Doesn't the fact that I've traveled all this way just to see you so many times mean anything to you? Alright, Kenjiro, I give up. You can have the pot, along with everything else in the house. It's all yours. Really? You're gonna give me the pot? Even the hanging scrolls? I won't have any use for them where I'm going. Anything you think is valuable, you can buy. Hmm, I was hoping to get some traveling money, but never mind. Alright then, shall we go? What a shady motherfucker. Let's kill him and set the house on fire. He talked about a scroll and an item that I guess he got. Anyways, this game has a lot of really slow parts, and I need to do some editing. So I'm going to call this an episode, for, and we will see you next time.